guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so, so much for watching. So today I have another what I eat in a day video for you guys, and I hope you enjoy it. It's very, very like a simple one, and I wanted to share what we ended up getting at a sushi restaurant that was kind of unplanned for us to go, but we rolled with it, and I thought I could show you what we got there that was vegan friendly. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. As always, if you guys do enjoy this, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the red subscribe button so you do not miss any future videos from me. Let's get into it. So for breakfast this morning, I'm finally sharing with you like my favorite, favorite oatmeal recipe, finally. <laughs> and I have been talking about this on my vlog. So what you're gonna do is take whatever oats you like. I'm just using some quick oats, and these really are quick oats. They take like a few minutes to cook up. I'm doing a little bit over a fourth of a cup. I don't do quite half a cup, because I never finish it. And then of course, add as much liquid as needed, whatever it is instructing you to do. And here's where we're going to put it all together. So I'm gonna let that start cooking up. Guys, get frozen blueberries, it matters. They have to be frozen. Put a little bit on the bottom of your plate. Then prepare whatever toppings that you have that you like. I like a lot of fresh fruit on it. While your oats are almost done, add a little bit of cinnamon. That's all that's in this, oats, water, and cinnamon. That is it, no sugar, nothing else added but I do think the cinnamon makes it taste really really good once they're done add them on top of your frozen blueberries this was like an idea given to me by a friend of mine and thank you so so much because this is the only way I eat them now <laughs> I'm gonna put a little bit of cinnamon on top and then I'm just gonna assemble the rest with my fruit now I call this my Buddha bowl oatmeal because I like to put it in like big chunks. That's just my preference and that's like a typical Buddha bowl, right? So that's why I call it that. <laughs> but it really doesn't matter. It can be ugly too, it doesn't matter. <laughs> just put on whatever toppings you like. Here's where I also think this just becomes so, so delicious. Take your favorite type of nut butter and do one tablespoon, just one drizzle over top and you put it on the bananas too, it's really good together. And oh my goodness, guys, so good. Gives it such a great sweetness, too. And then I'm also going to put a little bit of almonds and some coconut. And then what I like to do is a drizzle of agave nectar. And for me, that is more than enough sweetness. I don't miss true sugar in the oats at all. This is perfect. I'm telling you guys, between this and acai bowls in the morning, this is my rotation. So, so yummy. So lunch today was super, super quick and easy because I was in the middle of editing a bunch of stuff and I just wanted something fast that wasn't gonna take a lot of time. So I went ahead and just made myself a bagel and I'm using a, a sprouted wheat bagel from Trader Joe's as well as their vegan cream cheese and it's actually really, really good. I do recommend them. I mean, it's pretty basic, pretty plain, but it was really, really yummy. And I'm just gonna toast that up and then I'll add my cream cheese to it. Then what I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm actually just gonna have some leftover potato salad and I will link right up here for you guys the recipe for this but essentially it is corn potatoes onions all done in the instant pot super super quick with like a mustard vinaigrette so so good this is not like a mayo uh, potato salad and that is gonna be my lunch today so I could just take it back up to my computer and eat and work at the same time I do apologize, I didn't show you directly the recipe in this video, but again, this really was leftovers, but I will link it above for you guys. So tonight we went to sushi, and this was just kind of unplanned, but then we rolled with it, and it was so, so good, guys, so good. So we started off with some edamame, and it's their sesame edamame, and if you're local here, I really recommend I Love Sushi here in Fresno, very, very good. It's like a teriyaki sauce that they put on it with toasted sesame seeds. Oh my goodness, so yummy. And we got our sauces ready for when sushi comes. But guys, I decided to do a udon noodle soup. This was delicious. Now, traditionally it came with like egg in it, it came with fish in it, and I just left all of that out. So what you're seeing here is carrots, mushrooms, zucchini, with tempura batter pieces in it. Hello, so good. And underneath there, I'm sorry, I'll show you a picture right here. It has really, really thick, thick noodles in it, which made it so, so yummy and filling. And then the sushi, we got a veggie roll 
with tempura in it and it was so so good and the first roll you saw there actually was wrapped in a soy wrap because I personally don't love seaweed but my husband does so these ones are the same tempura rolls but with a seaweed wrap so more traditional for sure so good you guys really amazing we loved this he was excited <laughs> and then my soup also came with a side of tempura I did not even realize that so we had a lot of tempura I can't lie this was a lot more food than we anticipated but it was delicious I have to say it really really was we loved it this is a definite new favorite spot for us but I thought I'd share that with you guys so you could kind of know what to order in the description box, I will put again that udon noodle soup the way I ordered it so that you guys can like take a screenshot of it or something so you know what to order when you go next time. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so, so much for watching. I love you guys so, so much and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Mwah!